Hello and welcome to your daily five with myself, Jane Galena, also known as Airplane Jane. I am accessible on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, my email, jane at cjanetrade.com or also on my website, cjanetrade.com. So this week in particular, I am not feeling convinced that the spring has sprung in the market yet. I am looking at Apple and Amazon, two big names that have had larger dark pool activity. If we are able to break up above 150 with some volume, I'd be looking for this to continue up. However, we've got all of this volume from a couple of weeks ago and we dropped. We don't have the same amount of volume. These are the equi volume candles that's showing that we had the same amount of buying. So I am hesitant. Apple is such a large percentage of the SPY, the S&P 500, of the NASDAQ or the QQQ. And so when I'm looking at this, I'm saying, hey, all right, great. We have a rebound today, but it's very low volume. That could simply be a short squeeze pop. Maybe the big guys are going to sell into it again. So looking at this for the move of are we ready to move to the upside or is this going to be further move to the downside on our weekly chart we did come down we hit our 161 ema down here and bounced and it seems like this week we might be setting up a higher low however i still need to see that we have the volume to continue up we have this big volume candlestick to contend with and we're midway through it. So we could be moving to the upside, but I'm not 100% convinced. Next up is Amazon. So Amazon as well had some larger dark pool activity and we are below it. So looking to see if we're able to break up above this 33 EMA at 96.20 with some volume. It does look like it's in a cyclical move ready to curl back up. However, same thing with Apple. I am not convinced just yet. We need to break this 33 exponential, in my opinion. You can see the last time we did, we had a nice run to the upside. On our weekly chart, you can see it is in a downward trend. And we do have that 11 EMA right here hanging out around $98, excuse me, $96.20. And I would look for that to be broken as well. So it's still looking like it's in a downward trend. We could be potentially, potentially setting up for an inverted head and shoulders here with the right shoulder not moving all the way down. So once we do break 100, I would say, yes, full on, I'm ready to ride Amazon to the upside. Again, when we look at the SPY, we are testing that 33 exponential moving average today. And are we going to close above it? Or is this going to be a point of resistance and a further sell-off? Again, we were, have been in a downward motion. We hit a new simple moving average that I just discovered and love of the 222. And we have bounced. So we're sort of caught in congestion of different moving averages that the algorithms could be buying on and selling on. So we need to see who has the bigger strength here. Are we going to continue to the downside, which our shorter term exponential moving averages are showing that, while the longer are showing support. So where do we go from here? On our weekly, we did come and bounce and it is seeming like a rounded bottom here, however, Got a little bit of a rounded top too. So I'm not convinced just yet. I'm still sitting on the sidelines a bit, but two that I am in and have been in for a little bit of time now are going to be Yamana Gold. Now Yamana Gold did go into an agreement with um, Pan American Silver to be bought out for a rough value of each share at 502, which would give the shareholders shares of Pan American Silver, and another gold mine company, as well as cash. So this did come down to the 504 mark, 
rebound does look like we are heading up in the upward motion here. The deal is due to close the end of this quarter. So this could be they brought it down to the deal price, more people got in, and now we're starting to see an upward motion. So anything up above 502 at this point in time looks to be a potential profit area of cash that would be coming back in hand. On our weekly chart, you can see this is also rebounding to the upside after a drop to the downside. All right, last one is going to be UNG, United States Natural Gas Fund. Looking to see that this could have been our potential bottom for the year. When we look back over here, back in 2022, we found that that happened really in December. We didn't have that so much for us in December, but when we come and we look at March, roughly right here, we see that we had a massive run to the upside. Right now, we had a couple of weeks of sideways price action, potential positioning. We dropped below and now we've surged above. So looking for this, on the bigger picture to provide a nice run-up opportunity. If we are looking back here, this was a 33 exponential, roughly $16, $18. And now we see this could have returns of potentially 100% with a patient's longer term swing trade. That's your daily five with myself, Jane Galena. If you'd like to join me in the mornings on my YouTube channel, please feel free. I do create a daily day trading watch list. That's your daily five. Carpe Profit sees those profits one trade at a time. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with stockcharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.